welcome back to the channel welcome back to another lspdfr tutorial so guys today we're gonna be we're gonna go ahead and install some eup menu and some uniforms that you're gonna need in your game just to make your game a little bit more fresh look fresh and everything like that so we're gonna go ahead and do just that and of course if you have been watching some of my tutorials how to install lspdfr i do encourage you to pretty much go uh, and watch all the videos line by line i know some of the videos are pretty long uh, that's because i put a lot of information in there that you're gonna need to make sure your game is running smooth but if you don't want to do it the information is there i've done my part to show you guys how you can actually mod your game if i was actually modding this for myself i'll be pretty much done at this moment in time because right now i need to explain a couple things and how you can install it and stuff like that especially if you are doing this for the first time i want to make sure you are doing it right and correct at the same time so let's go ahead and get into it and first and foremost you're gonna need your uh to have your gta 5 main directory already open and of course you're gonna need open iv and i did put out a video letting you know how to uh install open iv if you don't know how to do that i'm gonna have a link in the description showing you how you can install open iv on your computer and set it up and stuff like that all right so let's go ahead and fire up our open iv and uh, in the meantime you're gonna have uh three folders right here we're gonna go ahead and take a look and where you can get these folders right here all right so let, let that one uh, open up right there let's go ahead to the browser right here real quick as you can see i do have three um files opened up right here so when you go to lspdf file you can just maybe like just type in uh eup menu i will try and have um some of this you know let me go ahead and cancel that i'll try and have some of these uh, links in the description so it's pretty much easy for you uh on how you can actually get to this page right here as you take a look this is uh, the uniforms you're pretty much going to be installing right now uh this is like this is more like the best line of the uniforms that you can actually have in your game all right so when you come to this page right here just go ahead and uh click on that download this uh this file and just go ahead and click agree all right it's gonna go ahead and download right there but for me i don't really want it to download again because i already have it but there you go it's gonna go ahead and download right there which is fine i already have it but it's okay so let's go ahead and go on to the next page here is gonna be the images uniform pack law and order you're gonna need this one if especially if you're playing as a cop you're pretty much gonna need these uniforms uh on your arsenal so you can go ahead and change it around and really design it however you want to uh, want it to look so you're gonna go ahead and come to this link right here go ahead and click this download button right here and uh, the one that you're gonna need the oiv file that you're gonna need is gonna be this file right here so go ahead and download this file just right there all right and then we're gonna go ahead and move on it to the next one is gonna be the save and rescue file pretty much gonna need this i think uh it makes it more interesting especially when you do call in like uh when you're on patrol you call in maybe like um ems unit or something like that they're gonna come wearing pretty much uh these uniforms that we have installed right here and then of course you're gonna go ahead and come into this page right here and we're gonna go ahead and need this oiv file for this one is going to be at the very top of it just go ahead and click this download button and of course it's going to go ahead and download all right then we'll go ahead and minimize that we're not going to need it all right so our, all our open for is already open right here uh in the meantime let me go ahead and minimize my open uh for at this very moment in time we're going to go ahead and start off with our gta 5 main directory and of course if you don't know how to get to your uh, gta 5 main directory especially if you're using steam like me just go ahead and go to your steam just like so and go ahead to your library go ahead to your gta 5 and highlight that and right click and go to properties all right uh let me go ahead and close this here so that you can see that it works and then you're gonna go ahead and go to uh local files just like so and just go ahead and click on browse all right and then it's gonna go ahead and bring up your gta 5 main directory just like so okay let me go ahead and close this real quick so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the 
with the EUP menu right here. This is the file that we're going to install first. This one is going to be going right here on your GTA 5 main directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. All right. I'm, like you, you already know, if you've been watching my videos, I like to unzip my files. So I'm going to go ahead and unzip this file. I'm going to go ahead and close this one. So we're going to go ahead and work with this file right here. All right. So you're going to be met with these two files right here for documentation probably going to give up go ahead and give you a readme so you can go ahead and open that up if you want and of course it's going to tell you where to install this file right here all right so let's go ahead and uh, go back all right it's going to go go ahead and go to files and then you're going to go ahead and get met with these files right here and once again we come to this point where i really really need to emphasize the point and of course if you have watched my other tutorials as well you will realize that there's one thing in common that i really do stress out every time i do find a file like this um in any mod or in any plugin that we do apply especially this file right here the reg native ui all right if you come to your uh gtfi main directory of course if you followed my tutorials you'll find that we do have um a reg native ui folder right there and of course if you take a look at the date of this native ui folder right here you'll find this one is the latest one and then you compare it with this one right here this is not the latest one right here so you do not want to install this file right here so pay attention to your native uh reg native ui because if you do put this in here your game is not going to work so i do suggest that you really really do pay attention to that all right so we're gonna go ahead and take this plugin folder right here just gonna go ahead and pick it up like that just go ahead and drop it off right here on your gtf my main, main directory it's just gonna go ahead to your plugins folder and then we're gonna go ahead and open our plugins folder and then now you'll find that your eup menu uh dll file is right here so this is what you want to see when you do uh install this right here all right so let's go back to our gtf main directory you are pretty much done with the gtf main directory so you can go ahead and log out of that and then we're gonna go ahead and close this out um we're gonna go ahead and uh delete these two all right so now you are left with these oiv files right here all right uh this one is uh i'm pretty sure somebody updated this uh because sometimes when you do uh install this you'll find that it will be inside a folder so you'll be able to um unzip the file and everything like that but for these two i don't think you're gonna need to unzip the file i'm finding this for the first time uh that it looks like this so we're gonna go ahead and install it anyways all right so go ahead and fire up your open four mine is right here all right as you can see you're gonna be met with this page right here at the very very beginning uh when you do open it and before you can try to install this right here i will advise you to go to tools right here and go to asi manager right there all right and just make sure all of these are installed right here if, if it's in blue color make sure you install and then it's gonna go ahead and turn green just like mine like this all right uh, once you make sure that's done we can go ahead and close this and i'm gonna go ahead and show you one way to install one of them and then i'm gonna show you how to install the other one the other way all right both of them do work just fine just in case you get used to uh installing these things on your computer you can just go ahead and do it as quickly as possible all right for but if you don't know if you really really um not sure what you're doing just go ahead and go to tools just like so we're gonna go ahead and install one in this in this manner right here and then you're gonna go ahead and go to package installer right here but make sure your uh if you're doing this one like this make sure your uh, edit mode is on just go ahead and turn on your edit mode just like that all right and then come back to tools over here and go to package installer all right gonna go ahead and click on package installer just like so as you can see these files right here are on our desktop right so you're gonna go ahead and go to your desktop and we should be able to see these two files right here all right as you can see these these two files right here you can find them on your desktop and, and this one will be law and order file right there 
and this one will be save and rescue right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh install law and order so just go ahead and click on that and just go ahead and click open and when you do click open you're gonna go ahead and get met with this window right here just go ahead and click install and then i do really really advise that you pay attention to this uh make sure you click uh on the uh mods folder right here so go ahead and click on the mods folder and then it's gonna go ahead and give you this uh uh window right here again just go ahead and install confirm installation just like so and then it's gonna go ahead and do its thing and install um the file that we just installed right here so this one is gonna be law and order right here so this is one way you can actually install these things right here you can pretty much install this one pretty much the same way we just installed this one um let's see here i think it's gonna take a little bit of a a little bit while to install let's go ahead and allow it to do so and of course if it does install properly you're gonna go ahead and get this notification here installation uh succeeded right so let's go ahead and close this so you already installed the uh law and order file i think we, is, is it this one so make sure you don't delete this before you are sure which file you have uh you have installed we have already installed law and order at this moment in time so now that uh let's say you are very much used to installing these things and uh you don't really want to go into going into tools or anything like that you don't want to go to package file installer and stuff like that all you can do now let's just go ahead and close this right let me just make sure which file is this all right, so this one will be the save and rescue file right here that i want to install so let me go ahead and move this one down here this is the one that we just installed right here the law and order as you can see it said lo right there law and order so i want to install this file right here without opening open iv all i can do right now is go ahead and double click on this file right here and then when you do double click on this file right here it's just gonna go ahead and open up open iv just like so all right it's just gonna go ahead and, and uh, send you straight into open iv and it's gonna go ahead and bring you that box uh to install just like this right here all right you're gonna go ahead and go install and go ahead and uh, install this on your mods folder and of course you're gonna go ahead and confirm just like so I was just showing you the first way just in case you're not really sure what you need to do and of course there's some things that you didn't you need to make sure they are done especially uh for the all right so make sure these when you go to uh si manager right there make sure these are installed before you try our um before you even try both of these uh methods that we just installed these two files um but uh the, fir the first I mean the first one is just to make sure you know what you're doing and you you are really aware of what's going on all right and we can go ahead and install this again just to make sure um you know what we're just gonna go ahead and get into the game here real quick i'm just gonna go ahead and leave these two files right here all right so right now you are pretty much done installing um eup menu and some of these uh uniforms right here so right now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the game and see what it looks like all right uh so go ahead and pay attention what's gonna go down here okay so let's go ahead and double click on the red plugin hook right here it's gonna go ahead and um do its thing like this go ahead and click on this uh settings button right there and make sure your virus uh thing is turned off all right so let's go ahead and close this out right there you're gonna need this page right here all right especially if you're installing your uh eup uh, eup menu for the first time you're gonna need to make sure this button is uh this window you can go go ahead and go to this window right here and then you're gonna go ahead and go to plugins as you can see you do have your eup menu right there but you want to make sure it is very much selected so just go ahead and select that and then uh go ahead and go to load pl all plugins at startup right there all right 
so you're gonna go ahead and save it when you go ahead and save this every time you go into the game um uh, of course lspdfr is gonna be is gonna loaded in your startup and of course your eup menu is gonna be loaded on your startup as well all right uh so let's go ahead and save this and launch the game all right Alrighty, guys so we're gonna go ahead and go into this station right here and we're gonna go ahead and go on duty i want to see if there's any difference in um in uniforms that we just installed right now but there's a menu that we can already uh access after this just gonna go ahead and check and uh, check something here uh let's go ahead and go on duty right here all right let's go ahead and go on duty i want to see if there's um these uniforms that we just installed there on this menu right here or not all right and then we're gonna go ahead and step outside and took it and take a look at some more all right so right now um the hell is going on all right so let me go ahead and go back here all right let's go ahead and go back to the locker room all right and then we're gonna go ahead and go to police locker right here as you can see right now we are on los santos pd all right let's see if there's any uniforms there all right there's no uniforms there i think i'm missing something but let's go ahead and go outside all right let's go go ahead and go outside and then we're gonna go ahead and use a menu instead all right hopefully that thing uploaded though <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and do this right here all right what the hell all right so let's go ahead and press f11 all right when you do press f11 you're gonna go ahead and meet this menu right here and what you're gonna do is go to uh law and order right there all right that's the law and order file that we just installed and now it is a moment of truth to see if the uniforms that we actually installed they are actually there all right let's go ahead and uh, click on the first one all right so that will be the uniform right here all right let's go ahead and take a look at this uniform right here i guess they did put an update because uh that uh that camera right there sometimes it's not there so that's a little bit unique right there so you do get something else different all right so we're gonna go ahead and go to b as you can see it kind of change changes things around there all right all right now you do have your radio on your shoulder we're gonna go ahead and get the jacket one all right there you go for winter time right there yo this is this is looking nice this is looking nice i'm glad i actually installed this right now so you do have that body camera right there all the time now i see all right so that's pretty unique right there as you can see you can go ahead and change uh these uniforms around all right you can go ahead and change these uniforms around and i'm sorry guys if this video is too long um all right so you can go ahead and go into like as you can see right now we are on patrol department you can go ahead and go to the detective department as well if you want to play as a detective and of course you're gonna go ahead and get these uniforms right here all right these are the uniforms right here all right there you go you can go ahead and get hella creative with this um all right let's go ahead and take a look at the specialized unit all right this is like the bike patrol right here why do that they do not have a body cam all right so there you go you're gonna go ahead and get your pilot uh, your pilot uh, uniform right there let's see here metro you gotta get yourself your canine you do have a body cam for the canine all right so this is pretty neat right here all right you're gonna go ahead and get yourself a SWAT team right there this is looking hella different I'm gonna get hella creative with this this is nice right here all right let's go ahead and take a look at the other department let's say you want to play like as a sheriff you're gonna go ahead and go to CBSO right there that's for the sheriff department you're gonna go ahead and go to patrol unit all right let's go ahead and see what these uniforms look like there you go that's for the patrol unit right there all right you can go ahead and change it around however you want 
I like that jacket though. Look at that. <laughs> That's neat. That's neat right there. All right. That's neat right there. That's neat right there. Okay, you're gonna go go ahead and get yourself the bike unit right there. All right. That's pretty neat. And uh, let's go ahead and see. All right, so let's see if you want to play like as a highway patrol officer. You're gonna go ahead and go to A S A H P right there. That's for the highway. And then of course you're gonna go ahead and select whatever uniform you want uh, for the patrol unit right there. This is pretty neat, man. I'm really happy I actually installed this right now. Look at the the winter coat right there. All right. Get yourself a motorcycle right there all right you can really get really really creative with these all right you can get really really creative with these uh let's see uh so for this one is gonna be for the park ranger patrol right here as you can see go ahead and click on that that's the uniform for the park ranger all right you can really get creative with these right here all right so now that we have uh, uh we have taken a look at a couple of um uniforms right here all right and this is what you can do with these uniforms mate this is what you can do with these uniforms all right let's go ahead and go back to lspd right here we're gonna go ahead and pick up a patrol unit and um i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to do after so right now you can actually save this um this um uniform right here on this menu all right all you gotta go do is go back go back go back and then you're gonna go ahead and go to wardrobe right there all right so if you go to wardrobe right here it's gonna go ahead and give you an option to create a, a wardrobe right here so go ahead and go to create all right and then you're gonna go ahead and name it whatever you want so let me go ahead and just name this lspd just like so all right click enter and then of course here you're gonna go ahead and get a couple goodies if you want to go ahead and put a head on this fool you're gonna go ahead and put a head on this fool just like so and then you can go down here and put on these glasses and everything like that all right and uh, i'm using my deep head right all right deep head right to select the uh stuff right now you know what let me go ahead and exit out of this and get him closer to me all right let me go ahead and get this closer so that you can see what's going on all right take a look at how good this fool is looking all right so i'm gonna go ahead and press f uh f11 again i'm gonna go back to my um create i'm gonna go, go ahead and uh, name this one lspd because i did not save it when i exited out of this so that's why it did not save but it actually saves uh whatever you just created so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue with this let's say i want to put these glasses on this guy right here i'm gonna go ahead and put these glasses right here and uh of course if you do press um uh what do you call it if you press six on your keyboard all right it's gonna go ahead and change the texture of the glasses all right Go ahead and change the text of the glasses like so as you can see and then if you press 4 it will go ahead and go back to uh go back to number 8 but i want to go ahead and keep number 9 that looks sexy right there all right number 9 looks sexy right there so everything else on this menu if you find the thing that you like if you press 4 or press 6 it's gonna go ahead and take and change the texture of that object and uh, make it a little bit more nice so it's gonna go ahead and create this guy right here uh since he's lo wearing a long sleeve shirt i'm just gonna go ahead and forget about um i'm gonna go ahead and forget about the uh putting a watch on him uh but let's see here in terms of mask i want to try something here because i don't think i have installed this yet but i want to go ahead and uh, try this out i'm gonna go ahead and go to 100 and uh is it 122 all right let me see let me go to 122 here and see what the hell happens all right so when you go to 122 you're gonna go ahead and get an earpiece like that all right i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to install um uh, body armor and stuff like that and then when you do install your body armor you can go ahead and come to this menu right here and of course here you can go ahead and change the texture of these pants 
uh, I don't think we can change this one as you can see texture at the very bottom says one of one so that means you cannot really change the texture of this all right uh, let's see here uh, in terms of shoes you can go ahead and change the texture of his shoes if you want but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave mine at one all you gotta do is press either four or six on your keyboard all right on your number pad on your keyboard all right for the accessories right here you can go ahead and change this as you can see where his gun is at this moment in time you can go ahead and change it and make it a little bit closer so number seven is gonna make, go ahead and uh, put the gun uh closer to his belt other than number nine as you can see number nine kind of puts it far away from him like that just gonna go ahead and leave mine at uh number seven right there i think that looks neat and uh we're gonna go ahead i don't think there's any armor here but if you install uh body armor let's go ahead and uh see if there's any body armor that we can uh save this as over here all right yeah for corrections we don't want that so this is like the best the bare minimum of uh body armor that you can actually put on this guy so unless we and until we install fresh body armor i think this one looks pretty good even though it's the best uh it's our base one i think this one looks pretty good so let's go ahead and leave this one right here and the other thing uh you can go ahead and go to number 22 and when you do get to number 22 right here just go ahead and take a look at the back of this guy if i go ahead and press number six it's gonna go ahead and change let's say you are playing as a sheriff you can go ahead and change this to sheriff just like so and then if you press number six again and let's say now you are playing as a highway patrol you can put this vest on and uh it's gonna say highway patrol on them all right once you are satisfied with your changes and then you're gonna go ahead and uh skip it like that okay uh let me go ahead and see if there's more all right it's gonna go back all right so now you're gonna go ahead and get some traffic traffic policer right there that means if you are maybe like just patrolling the streets and like giving out some uh, parking tickets or something like that this is the type of vest that you can wear or you are if you are patrolling at night time you can go ahead and, and wear this vest right here but i'm gonna go ahead and put my body armor back to this one i think that looks pretty sexy right there all right uh for the decals right here it's just gonna go ahead and put uh whether you're a sergeant and stuff like that but it's much better if you get it on uh on the menu it's gonna be it's gonna look much nicer on your arm like that so let's go ahead and keep this one clean and of course for the top right here you can actually change the texture of his shirt all right so let's try try this out just gonna go ahead and go to number two as you can see it's gonna go ahead and put that badge on right there los santos police just like so all right if i press six again it's gonna go ahead and change it to um los santos county sheriff right there all right press another one is gonna go ahead and uh say uh blaine county that's for a sheriff as well but we're gonna go ahead and go back to the first one if you like this badge right there on them just go ahead and keep it i think i'm just gonna go ahead and keep mine just like that all right i think that looks really really nice right there all right and then you can go ahead and save this right here so that means you have saved this anytime you come back into the game let's say um i just i just want to go ahead and patrol again uh let's go ahead and put on something different here so that i can show you i'm gonna go ahead and press f11 again i'm gonna go ahead and instead of going to wardrobe now i'm just gonna go ahead and go back to uh eup law and order just like so and then let me just go ahead and pick maybe like an fb fib uniform right here let's go ahead and put a suit on this guy just like that all right let's say um you are wearing this but you want to patrol uh you want to put on the uniform that you saved you can go ahead and go back to wardrobe just like so go ahead and go back to wardrobe as you can see on top of create outfit there's a lspd outfit that's already saved right there so i'm gonna go ahead and click on that and there you go your boy is wearing some fresh things right now all right so you can pretty much 
get creative with the uniforms and see which one fits better with your character and stuff like that you can remove the head if you want you can put different glasses if you want uh you can put a watch on him if you want especially if he's wearing like a short lips a short sleeve shirt you can put, go ahead and put a, a um a watch on him like that and then you're gonna go ahead and save uh your uniforms as i just showed you and then when you every time you come back into the into the game you want to go ahead and use some really creative uniforms and stuff like that so that will pretty much conclude this tutorial for you guys if this video helped you out in any shape or form please do consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on the video and please do comment down below i think very very soon um like i said i'm doing these videos in in somewhat a particular order so that when you get to this point you are pretty much already playing your game but right now you just want to spice things up a little bit and just try to change your game up a little bit this is why i'm doing these videos in this version i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna say oh your stuff is way too long but i'm really trying my best to explain everything and make sure when you get to this point right here you are ready to do your thing and now uh, you are ready to be very very creative with your videos and going forward so i'm gonna go ahead very very soon in the near future i'm gonna go ahead and put up another tutorial showing you how to install body armor so you can go ahead and have yourself a different body armor maybe something a little bit more creative something a little bit more nice than the baseline what you have coming up with the with these uniforms right here so you can already add stuff into this instead of uh just using the bare minimum uh like this uh body armor that we do have right now but i really actually do like this body armor right now i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be using this for one of my videos or something like that but anyways guys thank you so much for watching thanks so much for subscribing